India has seen a massive surge in the world's blind population in the past three decades. By contributing 3.44% to the total population of blind people in India. The subcontinent accounts for a third of the world's total blind population. Maharashtra alone stands third in the count for visually impaired people, with not only elderly but also children being affected. It's not surprising that the root of these problems are coming from rural areas due to lack of nutrition and harsh living conditions. Talking about the social and economical consequences, the results are not encouraging. Certainly, these people lack self-confidence and self-esteem and are often looked at with sympathy or as a burden in social settings. A study suggests that these people are prone to chronic illnesses and an overall dissatisfaction with their life. Their inability to do most of their tasks limits their growth and employment opportunities. For children, on an average, there is a 4.55% reduction in their future income, which in turn pushes them towards poverty. And in most of the cases, an entire family is pushed towards poverty. Clearly, blindness is a consequence and a cause of poverty. An analysis suggests that 64% of people living in poverty with disabilities were not below the poverty line before the disability. Another outcome of visual impairment is that it reduces the capability of women to work and take their own decisions as 75% of cases of cataract blindness are, formed, are found in women. Not only a single person but the entire economy suffers. The MSVI, moderate or severe visual impairment and blindness cause a 30.2% reduction in the employment workforce and a reduction of 20% in productivity. As of 2020, the loss incurred in the gross national income of India due to visual impairment was Rs. 9,6200 crores for adults and Rs. 3,31100 crores for children, with 10 and 40 working years being lost respectively. But here is the good news. Over 80% of the underlying causes of visual impairment are either preventable or curable. Our interventions in the developmental project called Ikshna aim at exactly the same. According to Government of India, the best way to tackle the problem is to establish an integrated healthcare system along with promoting primary healthcare. However, primary eye care services can be of great help to combating preventable blindness and MSVI. As per the government layout, this includes promotive, preventive, therapeutic and rehabilitation services which comprises raising awareness, timely detection of common eye ailments as well as right treatment for common curable diseases. Project Ikshana with the vision of combating preventable blindness and the mission of creating a self-sustainable business model by empowering women as well as through skill development of our beneficiaries is based closely on the layout set by the Government of India. We aim to create a network of eye screeners who shall provide door-to-door -door eye screening services along with preliminary eye testing services in the rural segments. These services will be provided by our women beneficiaries, who will be trained by our partner NGOs. This in turn develops their skills as well as renders them to be financially independent. Furthermore, our women beneficiaries refer rural individuals who require advanced eye treatments to our partner, the Vision Foundation of India, who in turn provide free of cost or subsidized treatments to individuals from below poverty line by just showing the ration cards. Our team has been continuously working with several NGOs and organizations in order to implement this project on ground. Currently, we are working with Simran Seva NGO, which uh, helps us to identify the beneficiaries and help us connect the target audience in the rural regions of Maharashtra and um, do their preliminary eye testing. Apart from this, we have been working with Asara Foundation, who helps us connect, uh, who is working, currently working on mainstreaming street children to help us connect uh, the underprivileged children and uh, do their eye test. Furthermore, we have taken multiple efforts to raise awareness about visual disability and to enhance sensitivity about the same. On December 2021, on the eve of International Day of Disabled yeah. Persons, we have we held a seminar with Mr. Arokya Raja, 
who is visually challenged yet accomplished physiotherapist to the industrialist and the celebrities to enhance the students with his knowledge. Our team's relentless efforts have positively impacted our beneficiaries and the society. The first steps of the project have been taken by training four of our beneficiaries for preliminary eye testing with the aid of our partner NGO and doctors. We have sensitized over 180 people about visual disability through our workshop on International Day of Disabled Persons. Ikshana, a collaboration between Enactus UBS and Enactus UWW, USA has received a funding of 3,000 US dollars from Combat Blindness International. We were also featured amongst the top 20 social entrepreneurship projects at GBSN Beyond Awards 2020. Eyes are the jewel of the body. We aim to enable people to safeguard this jewel through Project Action. Thank you. Project ANA was launched in the wake of the first wave of the COVID-19 pandemic with the aim to ease the worsened situation of employment in our country. Beyond this, the masks, which are a necessary source of protection against coronavirus, also begin to become inaccessible to many due to low supply and exorbitant prices. We view these problems as an opportunity to create employment for the women in our country. Through Project Panha, we partnered with our NGO, with the NGO Light of Life Trust and set up a mask production which was aimed to provide good quality and affordable masks to the people in our country. Our initiative bore fruits and collectively till 2021 we were able to provide good skills to various women and also render them financially independent. Therefore, we provided N95 masks at a price of, of Rs. 15 so that the poorest citizens of our country could have access to better masks and be able to provide themselves. Around the same time, there was a widespread incertitude about the availability of various resources like oxygen tanks, hospital beds, medicines, injections, etc. Enactus UBS, in partnership with Enactus Thapar, launched a mobile application known as Procure, which was the one point connect for acquiring various COVID resources. In the culmination of second wave, we were able to provide 1500 people with various resources and help their families. The year 2021 was certainly full of learnings, experience and spreading happiness. But this year brought us another challenge, the challenge to sustain happiness and sustain the project. Yes, decline in the COVID cases over the country was undoubtedly a blessing. It did bring a much needed relief for the people and leniency in the COVID protocols. But along with it came a sharp fall in the demand for face masks and saturation of mask market. This posed a problem for our business as it heavily relied on the demand of face masks. But we could not let our beneficiaries uh, face unemployment again. Therefore, we decided to diversify. The aim was to create another stream of business in, or, in addition to the face mask. However, there were a lot of factors that need to be considered while we stepped in for any other product. Long term demand for the product, demand, for the, uh, demand in the target region of Maharashtra, ease of manufacturing for the underprivileged women and profitability. In this situation, an ideal solution was to expand our business to a domain that was related to a current product line and was also easy for our beneficiaries to adjust to. After an extensive primary and secondary research of numerous clinics and hospitals, and after understanding the insights of industry from various experts and doctors, we were able to find the perfect fit to our diversification, the healthcare overalls. In India, the medical apparels business is currently in the stage of infancy. Therefore, there is a lot of scope for expansion. And thus, this creates an opportunity for us to contribute as well as make an impact in the lives of not only our stakeholders as well as in the overall growth of our country. Thus, Pana, with the help of its women beneficiaries, diversified into the production of medical apparels like stretcher sheets, uniforms for medical professionals and jute bags and so on and supplied them to hospitals and nursing homes in and around Mumbai. This choice also provided us with an edge as rural women were already accustomed to stitching and did not require much training. Ideas without execution, a hallucination. Believing on the same, our team has taken big and small efforts to come closer to our goal. Apart from the major productions of medical overalls, 
Pana has engaged itself in various social media activities, in-person events and competitions to increase the impact intended. The various efforts of our team at Project Panha led to a substantial positive impact in the lives of our beneficiary. Cumulatively, by the end of 2021, we uh, sold more than 1895 masks and over 800 cotton masks by supporting and empowering 20 plus unprivileged women by providing them an additional source of income. With the heads of business and hearts of the society, our team and our projects aim at constructively transforming lives one at a time. At the Nactus UBS, we believe in creating opportunities, empowering the underprivileged, nurturing relationships. We are the change makers of tomorrow. We are Enactus UBS. UBS.